Well, hello, my dear creative photographer, Sarah I here, and welcome to my another tutorial in Boost Your Creativity Challenge. So, so far, we, what we've done is this, these two exercises, now you know more about positive and negative study. And today we'll talk about something a little bit more uh, interesting and complicated. Uh, we'll apply it on the furniture example. So this drawing is from uh, the club, my online membership platform. I'll talk about it a little bit later, uh, but if you're interested right now, just visit schoolofsketching.com and you'll find all the information about the club, my membership uh, platform, where I post a new interesting tutorial on interior design sketching every month. So let's begin today's video. For this one, as always, you'll need a marker paper. Uh, it, it will be better to have marker to have marker paper, but it's okay uh, to use any kind of paper that you have in your place, and a liner and marker. But actually, a pencil and paper is basically all you'll need. We will draw a very interesting chair by Frank Gehry. Uh, its name is um, uh, Easy Edge. So uh, we will begin by uh, applying the concept of abstraction. So first I want you to locate the space on a piece of paper where you will be drawing this it kind of warm-up exercise for the chair. And here we'll draw again okay, final version. So uh, think boxes right now. So let's draw together this rectangular box. Draw however you feel like, so don't focus right now on the vanishing points too much. Just relax your hand and uh, try following me. You can find on Google this Easy Edges Chair by Frank Gehry. It was created in uh, 1972. Uh, so it's really easy to find. And very first thing is we just draw an abstraction for this chair so you can understand some uh, geometry of an object right so very simple concept boxes then of course it's a good idea to add some thickness to the elements here we'll have a nice cavity and voila uh, the boxes are done the next thing is to round the edges so our chair will uh, look a little bit softer on the edges closer to the original design just elongate some lines and here you go we understood some basic principles of drawing this chair now let's draw it one more time but now we'll focus on the vanishing points more so the very first thing is good to show the top and the bottom of your chair. Here approximately we'll have a seating for it. And approximately uh, over here we'll have our vanishing point. So let's do again the back of the chair. Here we'll have one vanishing point and the other. So this chair is positioned in two point perspective. So these lines are running up to this vanishing point. And these lines are running over there to the right to the second vanishing point. So here is the thickness of the chair. And next, remember we have a seating here. Remember our vanishing point to the left and the vanishing point to the right. Okay. Here we have slightly inclined angle so if you look at this chair from this side it will look like that so it's not 90 degrees angle it is slightly inclined again I'm using my vanishing point here vanishing point over there I intentionally located the vanishing points uh, 
in the borders of our piece of paper, so you better see them. It's okay for them to be farther apart from each other, so we'll have not as you know, like super bold angle for the chair. And next, we want to give some thickness to the lines, like that. Little cavity here. And the next thing is to prolong this line and add some curves over here and over here. And it's time to use uh, the liner, black liner. I think it's a great idea to outline our chair so you can better see the form in a bold, heavy stroke. So I'm using right now brush nib of my liner. You can use like, even black ink gel pen, it's okay. Something that is thicker, heavier than the pencil line. It always enriches our drawings. Uh, you the use of different thicknesses of the lines. Okay, and now uh, I want to make this beautiful shape really, really bold. By the way, I really love this series of chairs by Frank Gehry. Of course, he's he's a great architect, uh, and he, uh, his furniture designs are also wonderful. And this is a series of cardboard furniture that he's also famous for. Uh, he has has a whole series of different uh, furniture styles, and this technique, like a cardboard uh, pieces glued together. Okay, let's remember that we have the thickness here. This line is also running up to the vanishing point. So it's great to finish this. Maybe let's finish this one as well here. And next I'm going back to my pencil. And I want to, you to show the texture. So as I told you, this is a cardboard furniture. So we simply apply these lines. Remember our exercise from day one. Now it's very, very handy, right? So we trained our hand, we warmed up and we can, uh, we can do this hatching. By the way, this warm-up exercise with the gradients and just these vertical lines, it's wonderful to do before you start drawing your uh, sketches, just to warm up a little bit. So, uh, a little bit later we'll show the darkening and shadows, but for now we simply fill in the form the strokes here the strokes will be slightly rounded and here we follow the form like that next uh, shadows and shades we have let's assume that we have our light source coming from the top left corner which will mean for us that we'll have this part shaded let's apply a little bit of shade here of course this will be in shade and you see, I'm applying my strokes in the direction of the vanishing point. And this part will be also in shade. And I apply less pressure for the shading in comparison with these lines of corrugated cardboard. So they here I apply a little bit more pressure. So here are the own shadows. Uh, maybe let's show the difference here as well. And here it's great to show this transition of the form and why don't we show some drop shadows some drop shadows from the chair just a little bit and maybe some reflection to enrich the sketch all right so this was our, our final exercise for my three day boost your creativity challenge and uh, let me write down school of sketching.com. 
visit my website if you want to get even more inspired. And uh, at the end, I always recommend to my students to sign their drawing. So Olga Sorokina, especially if you post them on social media, it's great to uh, put your name on it. And if you want uh, to go even deeper into interior sketching, my dear creative, I welcome you to join my membership platform, the club. So we go even deeper into these topics and concepts that I touched upon here. So, so far, let's quickly review our three day challenge. Day one was all about basic shapes, mirror, mirroring image. Remember this study. Also, we did a nice warm up exercise. Day two was about positive and negative study. We did a Paul Henningsen Piage lamp, one of my favorite from Danish design. And today, day three was about abstraction study. So I really hope you enjoyed this challenge. Please tell a friend uh, uh, who is also into drawing or uh, kind of a creative spirit. Uh, I would be really glad if you would share this challenge with your friend or on social media so more people can, can get inspired, can boost their creativity. And of course, if you want to go deeper, so much more deeper, into perspective drawing, into interior sketching, you are very welcome uh, to join my uh, membership platform, The Club. And also there are a series of online courses that I have uh, for beginners and for advanced. Just visit schoolofsketching.com. You'll get all the information about uh, my resources, my courses, my book on sketching, and of course, The Club. And please, if you will post your drawings on social media just use hashtag sarokina students it's on instagram in my bio so uh, i can see your drawings i can see what you did uh, during the challenge and you can see what other participants have done so i hope you got inspired i really hope that you feel like you boosted your creativity please let me know in the comments which exercise was your favorite one and of course uh, please share this challenge with your friends thank you so much it was olga sorokina from schoolofsketching.com and i can't wait to see you in my next tutorials and videos bye for now